Alright, ladies and gents, what is up? It is the Macho Man here. Unfortunately, I'm a bit unwell today. Um, I have food poisoning, so forgive my appearance and everything. Um, I'm still recording the videos because, you know, work never stops. Alright, and I'm not the type of person to take a sick day. Um, but you're going to have to put up with slightly unwell Macho Man. Anyway, um, my buddy Keen asked me. Alright, I'm going to show you. My buddy Keen asked me, um, hey Macho Man, is this the hammer build you were using in your past live streams? I said, um, he was talking about what I saw on Monday and and um, he, I, I said that this was just a molten eating no dodge version. My hammer build was a dodge version, does he want it? And he says, yes. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you the hammer build that I was using on my stream um, the other day. All right, It's very easy to make. Um, I don't know if this is the best because I haven't tested it fully. All right, but it's strong and I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so you start out with the bomb cyclone. All right, you've got your etheric attunement cell up here and an adrenaline cell. Now you can choose to replace this etheric attunement cell, by the way, if you really want to. Um, you can put in anything you like here. All right, it's genuinely up to you. If you want to go extra ham, like you really want to go extra ham, you can put in another Berserker cell. You could put in a Knockout King cell. It's really up to you, all right? But um, I think the Etheric Attunement is good because it gives you faster lantern cooldowns, and lanterns should not be underestimated. Adrenaline cell here because as you use Extended Clip, all right, and you prime your ammo, you'll be consuming your stamina, which is very helpful. All right, Mighty Land Breaker. Uh, load ammo into the hell uh, into the hammer and when it's a the charge you will get up to 35% damage All right, it's very good Pangar's bond rampage will be your bond. Okay, so you got your Pangar's for that extra st uh, stun damage everything Iceborne will be your Omnicell keep you alive Pangar shine for your lantern if you need more survivability, please use Skarn a lot of people actually ask me why I'm using Pangar's more often than Skarn these days and it's because um, I just don't need the survivability from Skarn. And Pangar's, the status effect of Frost, the chill out status effect is very strong. So that's why I don't use Skarn's anymore. Because initially when I was getting used to Omni Cells, I used a lot of Skarn to keep myself alive with the extra shielding. I don't need that anymore, so I use Pangar Shine. So it's up to you. You can use either. If you need more shielding, please use Skarn's. It will not change how the build works. You would just be using Skarn's Defiance with Etheric Attunement. Easy peasy. Okay. Let me put that etheric attunement back. All right. Side of stone, very common in my builds. Two, uh, toughness cell, okay. Time weave robes for the overpower with a tenacious cell, okay. Time weave gauntlets with an adrenaline cell here. And boreal march with a berserker cell. What this gives you overall, I'm going to go through the perks with you right now so that you guys understand it better. Plus six adrenaline, you get up to 33% when you have zero stamina, all right. This can really help boost your damage. Don't sleep on it. Etheric attunement. Re your lantern recharges. Your lantern cooldown is basically 15 seconds. Very good. Overpower. Whenever you stagger the behemoth, and this is a stagger. Hammers are stagger weapons, so it's very easy to get this to trigger. 40% extra damage. Okay. Tenacious. With this build, you have 1,550 hit points. That's 30% damage bonus right there as long as you remain at full health. Okay. And it's fairly easy to do so because you've got toughness, additional max hit points, which give you more tenacious and 50% increased healing. So your Iceborne healing helps out a lot. All right. You've got Berserker for up to 20% extra damage. Now you can push this further, but you reduce your tenacious. So I just use the plus three Berserker because plus three is really good. And Knockout King plus three. If you really, really want more, you can sacrifice a Therica Tumor for more Knockout King. Okay. But it's genuinely up to you. I, I wouldn't do it. All right. And I'll show you how this build operates even without doing that. So ladies and gents, shortly you will see me go into an escalation. But let's have a quick cut here so that you guys can see the membership ads. All right. If you guys choose to join as a member, I'll be very grateful. Thank you very much for doing that. Check out this ad right now. Hey there guys, it is the Real Asian Robot here and I'm about to tell you that if you want to support my channel, one of the best ways you can do so is by hitting the join button. 
and becoming a channel member. Channel members get various perks and access to members only exclusive content. So if you want to see my career keep going and keep me supported, this is the best way to do it. And I'll see you all on the members only side. Okay, everyone, we're back here now. Um, just to show you the build hasn't changed at all exactly the same as what I showed you before We are currently in a 10 to 50 terror escalation. All right, it was randomly chosen. So I'll be showing you how this build functions in that situation All right, first and foremost You want to just knock down whichever creature you're dealing with as soon as you get your first aether charge jump trigger your uh, trigger your uh, mighty land breaker and then you basically dish out maximum dps right here all right so this is without any potions you know that i'm not taking any consumables it's pretty standard for an asian robot style okay and there you go first creature killed the hammer is at level 12 okay so nothing fantastic here there was absolutely no tonics consumed you saw that and uh now you've got aether charged ammo so your buff will obviously run out before the next behemoth and that's okay. What you want to do immediately is that uh, choose whatever. I don't really care what I choose. Um, this will do. I'm choosing defensive apps, amps on purpose to showcase the power of the build without any offensive amps. Because this is an escalation. Obviously if we choose offensive amps, it's going to enhance the power of the build and we don't want that. So we'll only be choosing defensive amps where possible. Okay, so as you go into the next uh, two-on-one kind of dealio, how you play this, rush in, use your jump and use your uh, mighty land breaker. If you do it in mid-air, not only do you have the bonus of, um, of not having to deal with the animation cooldown, all right, but it's just very helpful overall. Now, you still do not need... Um, to use your mighty land breaker again just yeah just watch that buff because i always watch the buff timing to ensure that I, i'm always getting it on time what you don't want is a situation where you are not on time with that okay now as soon as it's faded all right just make sure that uh you charge it back up and then okay here we go now, if you're running low on ammo, it's okay to fill it with normal ammo. Just don't use that to uh, to uh, actually like charge yourself up. Okay? Oh shit! Man, that wall didn't work. Fail. Okay. Sometimes you will fail, and that's okay though. Like what I'll usually do is I'll just do something like that. Bang. All right. Now I know that this thing is about to get staggered, so. I'll bring in the painful swings and now with your stamina low you get extra bonus damage okay somehow that didn't work again so I hate it when staggers somehow do not exist very very wonderful uh, system sometimes but anyway as long as you've got the stamina for it, keep hitting. And as soon as they do something like this, that's okay. Use your mighty land breaker in between, in between things, okay? And bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So 2v1, no problem. And then... Um, next thing's next. What is the most defensive thing I can think of? Pact of Hunger, fuck it. You'll still be killing things with no problem. Okay, so once again, we've got Aether Charge Ammo, so... We open up immediately with... Uh, a lantern, unfortunately the lantern was a bit useless, but that's okay. We want that. Because it would showcase the power of the build itself. Feel free to dodge in between swings, by the way. 
that's kind of the key thing here and if you like i say if you run out of uh aether charge ammunition that's okay listen nothing bad okay it's normal now you know that you ran out of uh, your mighty land breaker so again you hit him with that now you've got your uh, stagger immunity so during this time of extra life steal and whatnot just make sure that you're doing the right thing knocking behemoths down and shit okay I always keep an eye on the buff though because you don't want it to run out at the wrong time. So I know it's gonna run out soon, right? Then I'll just leave that there to charge myself up. Oops, failed that. But... Okay, now it's been knocked down, right? This is where you properly use your abilities. Whack. Go ham. The low stamina will basically ensure that you're continuously uh, doing well. Alright, because if you're priming everything, you're always going to have low stamina, which in turn means that you're always dishing out more damage. You get what I mean? Alright, next thing, um, Lantern Hole, Grand Shield. Okay. Again, we're constantly picking the defensive amps because this build will function by itself defensively with no offensive amps. This is how strong it is. You don't need to think too hard you don't need to consume any consumables nothing just go in and go hardcore all right we got a nasher usual plan mighty land breaker right there try to go for the head if you can for the double stagger damage all right now that sucked but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just charge up our ammo again Beaver Boy might be a bit annoying, but that's okay. You gotta deal with annoying Beaver Boy sometimes. Now the Resicuri might make this a very, very annoying process for you, but that's okay. You gotta understand, part of the process here. Okay, you're even knocking him down without intending to, and that's okay. That's what you want. As annoying as these fellows are, just keep hitting them. Nothing wrong with that. Hit him hard with the ice balls. As soon as he's knocked down, you know it's over. Why? Because you got that full swing power. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Charge up again. Now you're gonna run out of Mighty Land Breaker soon, but that's again, that's okay. All right. Where's that Rezakiri? As soon as you run out, charge up again, okay? And once again, because you're dealing with um, stuff that chills the enemy, you get the bonuses. You get the bonuses of having them slow down for the vast majority of their attacks, okay? Now, unfortunately, that doesn't always work out, but that's okay. Uh, the hammer versus the Resikiri, a bit difficult to use sometimes because of how s how much slower it is, but that's okay. You get your opportunity. Once you get your opportunity, bang. That's it. Mighty Land Breaker again. Power up as soon as you can. Alright, don't sleep on your power up once you've got the Aether Charged Ammo. You don't want the regular one because then you're stuck with a lower damage boost for a longer period of time and you don't want that. You want your Mighty Land Breaker in ASAP. Alright. But well, you'll notice how fast these things die. All right. Okay, now I know this creature well, so I'm just gonna do that. As soon as it's down, there you go. Now I don't have my mighty land breaker on, which is an oversight on my part. Bang, straight up. 
and then quickly before it goes get your Ada charge again now now you've already completed the fourth round okay it's literally been under 10 minutes you've not had to use a single consumable your hammer was level 12 okay are you seeing this now we're gonna finish this real quickly so I'm just gonna get one offensive amp against the Agoras just for the sake of time because I don't need you watching this whole thing for hours all right without any any benefit so let's go All right, Agris wax you, nobody cares. Why? Because your build is not centered around not taking hits. And that's okay. Now this is where the fun begins. Use your Iceborne. And just out heal your opponent's damage. Occasionally your combos may mess up, but that's okay. That's just part of natural chaos. And you live with it. Mighty Landbreaker every single time is down. As soon as you can, hit him with the Iceborne. This is to keep your entire... Um, combat operation running continuously, okay? You don't want even the slightest hint of slowness. Alright. Okay, aggro is dead. There you go. GG. Okay, no potions, no tonics, nothing. That's how this hammer build functions. So if you guys enjoy it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Of course, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video for more of my content. If you enjoy watching this stuff, um, don't forget that you can also send super thanks on YouTube. Join as a channel member or purchase Asian robot merchandise. Up to you. Thank you for putting up with me while I have food poisoning and everything okay i hope this video helped you out and i hope it was informative thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one and you didn't think i was gonna miss out on the tip of scene right thank you very much to september's top supporters bravo 7910 crampy d johnny nara fnx killer 43 zavi uzumaki alien frost 80 kazmanta my lovely girl yuki no kami j money 13 ravik starbuzz michael roberts you know very proud to have these names in there thank you so much for all the support you've given me and for everything you've done, all right? I really, really appreciate that. It has been huge, okay? Thank you very much. Arigatou yo. See you on the next one.